Welcome everyone to the SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view, Money in the Bank, a night where a briefcase will be held above the ring and six superstars will have the opportunity to live their dream by climbing up the ladder, retrieving the briefcase, and that briefcase will have a contract that will allow them to have a WWE Championship match anytime, anywhere, within the next year. But besides that, championships will be defended here and rivalries will be settled. So let's get started with, with the action right now with the SmackDown Live Women's Title as Asuka, the SmackDown Women's Champion, will be taking on both Sasha Banks and Charlotte in a triple threat match for the SmackDown Live Women's Title. Now, Asuka became the SmackDown Live Women's Champion by beating Sasha Banks at Backlash. It was the first time those two ever even fought each other. But during that time period, Charlotte was able to beat Asuka weeks prior to that thanks to the help of Sasha Banks. So she felt as though she should be first in line for a championship match against the Empress of Tomorrow. But the boss fell as though there's some unfinished business between her and Asuka, and she knows she could beat the Empress of Tomorrow, which is why this triple threat match was set up. Now, over the past weeks, it seems as though Charlotte and Sasha were on, like, in cahoots with each other. They became best of friends with one common goal in mind, to beat the Empress of Tomorrow. But after this past Tuesday, it seems like whatever friend lip, friendship or alliance that they had went out the window because now it's every woman for themselves. Who will be walking out of here tonight as SmackDown Women's Champion? We'll find out right now. It is time for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Pay-per-view, I meant to say. And we're kicking things off with the SmackDown Women's Championship match. And it's just not any match. It is a triple threat match. And here comes the boss, Sasha Banks. Banks, who has had a long story history between both of these women in this matchup. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka, who she was so close in beating at the Backlash pay-per-view become the brand new SmackDown Women's Champion, but Asuka took that from her. She also has a long history with the Queen, Charlotte. Lair. All three of these women will collide in this triple threat match. For a couple weeks now, it seemed like both Charlotte and Sasha was on the same page. But based on the events that happened this past week of SmackDown, when Charlotte failed to the plan that Sasha Banks had, it looked like, it seems like all bets are off in this match. It is every woman for herself in this triple threat. Sasha wants one thing, and that is the SmackDown Women's title. Here's a superstar who was a SmackDown Women's Champion before and looks to reclaim that title. Here comes the Queen, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte is no stranger to championships. She looks to reclaim the SmackDown Women's title here tonight. I mean, Charlotte probably has the biggest opportunity out of these two women because it was Charlotte who was the first superstar ever to beat Asuka, ending her undefeated streak. But let's not forget, it was due to in part of the distraction of Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks feels though Charlotte owes her for that, but Charlotte, for claiming that she was the only one to beat Asuka before, deserves the right to face her for the SmackDown Women's title. So because of this, that all three of these women are colliding for that one title, the title that belongs to the Empress of Tomorrow. And here she comes. The SmackDown Women's Champion, the Empress of tomorrow, Asuka. She has in possession the most prestigious title that the SmackDown women would want, and that is the SmackDown women's title. Though undefeated no more, she still has what it takes to be the absolute best in this women's division, and she's holding it right there, which is the SmackDown women's title. However, this will be the first time that Asuka has to defend her SmackDown Women's title. And what a great task does she have ahead of her. I mean, 
The, 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 the odds are really stacked against her in this one. Her very first title defense as the smack that wins the women's champion. Will she be able to overcome the odds against these two very talented women? You see, look at Sasha. We're mouthing off the shot saying, you did this. It's all about the smack that women's title held by that woman. The mesmerizing Asuka. Asuka, can she retain her SmackDown Women's title here tonight? This is what it's all about, guys. The SmackDown Women's title. And there is the prize. Yes, Sasha, who wants the title. Charlotte, who also wants the title. And Asuka looks to retain. The women's title. Triple threat rules, guys. Here we go. And Charlotte doing a smart move, going right outside the ring. She wants no part in that. And Asuka seemed distracted by that, but Sasha Banks tried to get right at her, but it looked like Asuka is not wasting any time on Sasha Banks. These two have a long and storied history. Charlotte, I mean, she's playing the smart one here. Doesn't want no part of Asuka. And Charlotte, look at her. Already, I guess... We realize if these two were going to be working together, it looks like that's not the case. Charlotte is taking her frustration out on Sasha Banks. And now here we go. These two are colliding. Asuka and Charlotte. Again, it was Charlotte who ended her undefeated streak with the help of Sasha Banks. And Asuka is not going to forget that. But Charlotte making sure Asuka doesn't forget that either. There you go, Charlotte and Sasha Banks in the ring. I mean, it's a good chance for either one of these two series. Right, Asuka's currently outside the ring. If any of these two women get the pinfall, we have a brand new champion. Asuka lost the title. Damn, a double drop kick to both of these women. How amazing is Asuka laying out both of these incredible athletes? Both former Raw Women's Champions. Multiple time Raw Women's Champions, I should say. Over on the Raw side, but it's a SmackDown, a different story now for all these women. And a DDT from Asuka. And now Sasha Banks looks. Take advantage of that opportunity. Slamming Asuka's face right onto the mat. And a running bulldog. Sasha's getting up. What is Sasha playing on? Doing but Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte instead is knocking out. I don't think Sasha Banks even realized Charlotte was right next to her. That's how she quickly she reacted now to this. Gets a dangerous situation when Asuka's outside because she could very well lose her title without even being pinned. That's what these triple threat rules is about. Oh, a drop kick straight into the face of Sasha. Cover right here. This is what I'm talking about. Asuka's outside the ring. I guess Asuka just noticed it now. Look at her going straight after Charlotte. Whoa, whoa, is it? It could it be? Asuka and Sasha teaming up with double DDT. By both Asuka and Charlotte. Oh, I guess that last, that did not last. Not too long. I think the plan for both Sasha and Char is to keep Asuka out the ring. But right now, Sasha with the cover. This could be it. One and a kick out. Oh, what a kick by Asuka. And here comes the Empress. Oh, whoa. Sasha was able to move. That was the same move that made Asuka the SmackDown Women's Champion in the first place. And Charlotte's not wasting any time on Sasha. But now she wants a piece. Of Charlotte now. Yeah, Asuka really has her hands full in this one. She has to worry about one. You see, again, Sasha already kicked her out. It is just everyone for herself. Whoever gets that first pinfall or submission wins this match. 
Damn. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Sasha. Bank statement. This could be it, but damn, the rope breaks are right there. Not doing it for Sasha Banks. Oh man, Snake Eyes straight to Charlotte. Oscar's down for the count. Ooh, double knees straight to Charlotte Flair. Now look at it. Sasha Banks trying to get the opportunity to cover. Give a new champion in. Asuka kicks out the count of one. What a matchup so far by these three women. And Sasha is calling up Asuka. Oh! Sasha looking for the drop kick. Asuka was able to reverse. So I'll try and get the advantage again, and Asuka reverses again. Oh, man. What is Asuka do? Oh, DDT. I don't think Asuka was ready for that one. Sasha Banks is cleaning house on both of these women. Whoa, and Charlotte able to reverse. Charlotte doing flat line. I mean, this could be it right here. Cover one. Oscar gets out the count of one. Charlotte, she must be losing her mind right now. Think, what the hell can she do? Slamming down the Empress. And here comes Sasha. But Charlotte was able to, I guess she knew she was right behind her. And she did reverse it. Oh man, Charlotte. Natural selection. This could be it right here. New champion. One, two, and Sasha Banks barely kicks out. I mean, Asuka would have lost the title right there. She would have never even been pinned for that title. Charles taking her frustration out of the women's champion now. Sasha Banks barely kicked out of that natural selection. and making sure Asuka is outside the ring. Here we go. Charles with the cover again. One and Sasha. Able to kick out. Charles did what she had to do to herself, but Sasha now fighting back. Oh, wait a minute. Sasha. Bank statement. This could be it right here. Asuka. Hurry up. Oh, quickly. Whoa. Close enough move by Asuka. She, I don't know. Charlotte could have tapped right there. But Charlotte's knocked out cold now. Asuka tornado DDT from the rope. Wait a minute. Asuka's taking advantage of her being down. Referee, get the pin. One. And Charlotte kicks out. Referee took too long for that pick. Come on. This could have been Asuka's possible night right here. She could have retained her title. Snake Eye on the rope. Cover. One. Two. Bad kick out by Charlotte. Look at this crowd. They are really into this triple threat match. Oh, and Asuka again with the beautiful DDT. Charlotte is knocked out, but oh, Sasha trying to go for Asuka, but that wasn't enough. Ooh, Sasha's fighting back now. Oh, man. Oh. Asuka has her in her ankle lock. This could be it. Well, Asuka... Well, what was Asha tap? And no, she does it. Oh, what a kick. Here comes Asuka. Damn. This could be it right here. Cover. One, two. And Sasha Banks kicked out. That was the same move that Asuka was able to beat Sasha before to become the new women's champion. Oh, wait a minute. Charlotte trying to grab Asuka from behind it. 
and I don't think Asuka even noticed that she was the oh man Charlotte just throwing Asuka across the ring and doing the same thing to Sasha wait a minute Charlotte with the pin one two Sasha Banks kicks out I don't know what Charlotte can do now. Whoa! I don't know what she was trying to do, but Sasha Banks with that beautiful Hurricane Rana from top seat. One, two. That's Sasha. I don't know what Sasha Banks did. I don't think I don't think Sasha Banks knows what to do now. She can't pin Charlotte. She can't pin Oscar. She doesn't know what to do. Oscar's fighting back. Oh, what a snap suplex. And Oscar is just down for the count. Oh, snake eye. Wait a minute, Charlotte. One, two. Oscar kicks out the count of two. These women know that it's all about the SmackDown Women's title. They know how important it is to them flatliner by Charlotte. What is Charlotte doing? Oh, God. Is she going for something big? Moonsault by Charlotte Flair. This could be it right here. One, two. Asuka kicks out barely at the count of two. This match is not over yet at Asuka. Oh wait, Sasha. Bank statement. No, Asuka. Oh, she broke it up. She broke it up just in time. Oh wait, and Asuka got her submission. This could be, oh man, Sasha's right next to the ropes. Oh man. Sasha miss Asuka. But she's going for it again. Oh, man. Just taking her straight to the corner. And here comes Sasha with the knees. But Asuka's going to try to fight back now. And look at these two going back and forth for this matchup. Oh, no. And what a neck breaker by Sasha. Oh, wait a minute. Charles so going for something. But Sasha was able. And uh, cover by Sasha. One, two. Asuka still kicks out to count it two. None of these three women are giving up here in this match. What is it going to take? Oh, what a kick. By Oscar. Oh, wait, we had to break up again because Sasha was just so close to the ropes. She saved herself with that one. Oh, man, just slapping her while she's down. Oh. Whoa, what a German. What a German. Sasha Banks could possibly be out right now. Or I guess not. This triple threat match is amazing, guys. None of these three women are giving up. Oh, boy. Good lord, what a neck breaker. Now Asuka's trying to get up now. And she does. Asuka stick it to herself. What the hell does she have to do? Ooh, kick straight to the face. No, oh, she's going for it, but again. Oh, God. Charlotte going for the cover. One, two. Asuka kicks out again. None of these three women are giving up. 
Hey, all three women are in the ring. Anything can happen now. Oh, wait a minute. Charlotte and Sasha teaming up together? Who'd have thought? Double DDT to Oscar. Oscar is out. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. Sasha. Hey, Sasha taking advantage of that one. Whoa. Unbelievable. Athleticism by Sasha. This could be it right here. Cover by the ref. One. Two. Charlotte kicks out. None of these women are giving up. Oh God, wait a minute. Sasha could tap right here. Oscar, you better hurry up. Stop it, there you go. Oscar saved it. Oh my God, for a second, I thought it was gonna be over right there. Oscar's not having that now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oscar has her submission. This could be it. Is Charlotte gonna tap? No, she doesn't. I don't know what the hell Charlotte was going for, but she missed. Oh, and so did Oscar. Close lining her outside the ring. Now it's only two women. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sasha Banks with the Hurricane Rada. Oh man. What is Sasha Banks doing? Oscar could be out right there. This could be it for the Empress. Oh, what a kick. Wait a minute. Again. Taking out Sasha cover. One, two, three. Oh my God, are you serious? Sasha Banks kicks out barely though. She barely kicks out. What is showing from all three of these women? And Sasha's not giving up. She's not giving up. Russian leg sweep from Sasha Banks. Oh, look like she was going for the spear. But Sasha was able to. Oh, and a reversal by Charlotte. Who is going to give in in this match? Oh God, what it, Charlotte. Oh, that could be lights out for Sasha right there. Oh, wait a minute. Sasha's going for the pin. And Asuka was able to make sure that didn't happen. Nope, Asuka had enough of these women. Oh wait. Cross arm bar. Charlotte, you better be paying attention here. Uh, Sasha tapped. Asuka has retained her smack. Help. Charlotte cannot believe it. She wasn't paying attention. What a match. What a match. The Empress of Tamara retained. I mean, that could have been it for Charlotte. Charlotte could have won that match right there with that natural selection. She could have. Cover it was wide to Sasha. Barely kicked out she again. Just pummeling the champion. Oscar was down for the count. And then a DDT. That could have been it as well. And it's pinfall after pinfall. Oh, God, look at that. Just snake eyes from the ropes. I'm surprised Charlotte was able to retain that one. Asuka is victorious. 
and Asuka retains her SmackDown Women's Championship. Who is going to stop the Empress of tomorrow? It wasn't Sasha. It wasn't Charlotte. Who can now? What an epic win for the Empress of tomorrow. What a hell of a match all three of these women just put forward. At the end of the day, Asuka was able to successively retain her SmackDown Women's title in a grueling triple threat match against the boss Sasha Banks and the Queen Charlotte. Now for Charlotte and Sasha, it's back to the drawing board. But now the real question is, if the boss couldn't do it, if the Queen couldn't do it, who the hell is actually going to stop the Empress of Tomorrow and take her SmackDown Women's title? I guess we're just going to have to find out. But coming up next, guys, another women's match as you'll be seeing Naomi taking on Natalia. Now, these two women have been going back and forth for social media for weeks now. Natalia feels as though with the stacked SmackDown Women's roster with the likes of Asuka, Sasha, Bailey, Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss, Mickey James, that Naomi doesn't fit in here at all and she should just go either Raw or just simply go to NXT just somewhere, anywhere but the SmackDown Live roster. Naomi, who is a former SmackDown Women's Champion, feels as though she does belong part of this roster. And even though she's yet to make a name for herself here, ever since the brand split was reintroduced here in our universe mode, and it's time for her to make a name for herself right here, right now. She has no problem beating Natalya to prove it. These two face each other right now, and the real question is who'll be coming out on top? Whoever wins could possibly be the next challenger for Asuka. You never know. These two women's clash right now here at Money in the Bank. Here we go, guys. Our next matchup here at Money in the Bank. And whoa, I mean, that SmackDown Women's Championship triple threat, man. What an amazing match by these women and the women's matches do not stop there here comes our next women match of the night Naomi she is feeling the glow and is ready to deal with Natalia tonight there's been an exchange of words between these women on our and on their Facebook pages and he was able to see all of that on our This Week in Universe mode series. You can catch exclusively on our Facebook at facebook.com slash crater. Change word between the two women and it will culminate tonight. Talia basically telling her, hey, she's not on her level. Naomi is a joke of a woman. Naomi took offense to that, saying, hey, you haven't really won any matches here too either. So these two are going to settle it in the ring tonight at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And here comes the Queen of Hearts, Natalia. I mean, this is this is an opportunity for both of these women. I mean, an amazing match we just saw between Charlotte, Sasha, and Oscar. The SmackDown Women's Division is really heating up here, and what a diverse roster we have for these women. Some of the best women on this roster, and they just showcased it there. Oscar, Charlotte, and Sasha. Wow, I, I still can't get over that. This is opp that is an opportunity for these women to showcase their talent right here as Natalia will take on Naomi one on one right now at Money in the Bank. Naomi, look at her. Not wasting any time. I don't think she wouldn't be like just. I, I, man, I can't even. I'm at a loss for words here. That triple threat match. I just saw Oscar retaining after that amazing triple threat match between all three of those women. What a match. Now Natalia is, again, just uh, laying out on Naomi so far, but Naomi, this is her chance to come back, and she does. I mean, both of these women, they know it was at stake here. When 
against any of these two women could put them in a limelight for a future opportunity to smack that women's title. Now that Asuka is still the champion. So it's a must-win match for both of these women. And the oh, oh! Naomi doing something a little different. I've never seen a move like that before. Attacking it back from going off the ropes. That's interesting in herself. Whoa, Natalia looked like she was going for something. Naomi, one. Oh, wait, Natalia, one. Oh. Natalia looked like she was about to steal one right there. These women know each other so well over the years. Again, it's just for right now, all they care about is one thing. She's like, oh, wrestling woman becoming a SmackDown Women's Champion. Right now, it's currently held by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Who can beat the Empress? I mean, after that triple threat match, I think it's safe to say she is on a roll. Oh, and they only beautiful Hurricane Rana. Going up for a pin. One, two. Wait, Natalia reverse. One, two. It's on Naomi. One, two. Wow, just pinfall after pinfall with these women. Again, they try to find win this match quickly. Again, the quicker the better. And Jesus Christ. Discus clothesline from Natalia. Naomi's knocked out. For sure. Oh, wait a second, Natalia. Looking for the sharpshooter. I mean, does Naomi have any place to go? And look like she's able to reverse out of the sharpshooter. Natalia cannot believe it. Oh man, just attacking her legs. Yeah, again, Natalia's been doing this for a very long time now. Over a decade, almost, here in WWE. Covered by Natalia. One. And a kick out. This is the SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view Money in the Bank. And what... Again, what a show we have so far. I mean, that women's match. These women compete right here. This shows that the women evolution is really a full force here. Oh, and it's a gurry by Na Naomi. She's filling it from the crowd. Oh, what a kick. Straight to the face of Natalia. Oh, wait, what is Naomi doing? Oh! This could be it right here. <laughs> Cover. One, two, and Natalia kicks out. And then he's calling her up. What does she have in store for Natalia? Oh, man. Oh! L look at this submission move. Could this be it? And Natalia tap. They owe me one. What a unique submission move she had. Okay, look at that beautiful Hurricane Rana into a pen. Naomi has just showed up Natalia here tonight. Good again, pinfall after. Penfall. It was a great exchange between these women. Again, that but that disc is clothesline out of nowhere. Again, leg drop by Naomi by Natalia, I should say. It wasn't enough. Take her out. Beautiful moonsault. Again, just one more time for good measure. She put her in that unique submission move. Naomi. It's victorious here tonight. What a win for Naomi. I mean, Asuka.
I know there's a bunch on a roster, but you should be taking your not taking your eyes off of this woman. Naomi just beat Natalia, a former SmackDown Women's Champion herself. So I think it's safe to say that Naomi does belong here on the SmackDown Women's roster. But coming up next, guys, this is going to be a big one. One of our biggest matches here on Money in the Bank is coming up next as Samoa Joe takes on the Strawberry Child, Akira Toizawa, and a 10-minute Iron Man match to settle their differences once and for all. These two have been clashing for a while now, almost two months now. And Samoa has been seen having the upper hand, but Akira Toizawa knows in his heart that he can beat Samoa Joe. So this 10-minute Iron Man match is to decide everything. Whoever gets the most decisions, will become the victor, either through pinfall or submission. Whoever gets the most decision in general within the 10 minutes will be declared the winner of this rivalry. And this all started all the way back in the WWE Championship Tournament. During the WWE Championship Tournament to crown a new champion at Backlash, two unlikely competitors squared off during the quarterfinals. One of Kara Toizawa, who came off a huge win over Finn Bauer in the first round, and Samoa Joe, who easily defeated Randy Orton in seconds. These two wanted nothing more to move on to the semifinals, and they were going to stop at nothing to get there. Just it, it, it is it over? Akira tab. What an effort from Akira for Samoa Joe. A bit. Samoa Joe came out victorious in that match, but after the match was over, it actually showed how good Akira Toizawa actually was. It opened the eyes of many people. After Joe lost the semifinal match in the tournament, Akira issued another challenge to him at Backlash. The result was the same. With Samoa Joe coming out on top, and Akira Toizawa, though he gave it his all, didn't come out the victor. Akira was not going to let it end this way. He taunted Joe into having one more match with him. So he decided at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, these two rivals will settle their differences one last time. But it will be a 10-minute Iron Man match. Whoever gets the most decisions after 10 minutes will be the victor. Akira sees this as an opportunity to show the world that he can hang with the top of the top. But all Joe sees this as is Akira surviving 10 minutes with him. Because to him, the result will always be the same. That is him going to sleep. Here we go, guys. Our next match up here at Money in the Bank. And boy, oh boy, have I been waiting for this. The blow-off match, the grudge match between this man, the destroyer, Samoa Joe. He looks to finally end of Kara Toizawa. This all started back during the WWE Championship Tournament when Joe and Akira had an instant classic. And he was able to knock off Akira moving on to the semifinals. Akira Toizawa took exception to that and challenged Samoa Joe after he failed to make it to the final to a match at Backlash. They had another great matchup against each other at Backlash. Samoa Joe came out victorious again. Akira Toizawa does not, the never say die add to the Akira Toizawa. Won another match with him and he's gonna get it. But this time, to make sure there is a decisive winner to end things once and for all. This person, so the person can say, hey, you barely won. This is going to be a 10-minute Iron Man match. The rules are simple. The 10-minute time limit in this match. Whoever gets the most decisions of this match, it would be a pinfall, submission, count-out, disqualification, will be the winner. And here comes the strawberry child, Akira Toizawa, who has been, wow, just been one of the fan fans, one of the hearts here at the WWE Universe. And just the never say die attitude and that war cry. Look at Xero well, Joe, he just said whatever. Going right outside that ring. Akira has a never say die attitude and he has to 
withstand 10 minutes of the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. Here we go, guys. Samoa Joe, the character is out. A 10 minute Iron Man match. You see the clock right there. 10 minutes. And Samoa Joe going straight after Akira Toizawa. Again, it's really, this is the real instance of can Akira Toizawa last for 10 minutes with Samoa Joe. It can hurt Kirana by Akira. Oh man. Jesus. Double stomp from the top rope to Joe again. Karatoy Zawa is bringing out moves. He always brings out new and new ways to take out his opponent. And for Joe again, all he do is just make him stay down. Smart by Kirito. Make sure every time Joe gets up, he knocks him right back down. And Akira, what is he looking, going for? Oh, now I'm knocking him straight out the ring. He's filling it from the crowd. Again, guys, this is a 10 minute match. Oh, Jesus. Samoa Joe back suplex Akira's out right on top of his head. And Akira's is out, not giving up. Right now we're at the count of six by the referee's count. Jesus, Savoa Joe. Eight, count of eight, a character is out. Going back in the ring, smart move. Nine, count of nine, wait a minute, Savoa Joe. He didn't make it back in. So Akira has one win over Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe must be furiated right now. Look at him. He was able. Akira Tozawa, you might have lasted that long, but not anymore. Man, Samoa Joe is furiated right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Joe, again, he is just pissed off. Akira Tozawa got a win over him via count out, and there's seven minutes left. In this matchup, again, Samoa Joe taking him right outside the ring again. This is how he's going to do damage to him. He wants to hurt Akira. Oh, kick straight to the face. And again. Count of five. Because I was being smart right now. Saying, come on to Joe. Joe now is just, oh, slap to the back. Oh. Joe, again, despite his size, he is so fast. So Gears I know that the speed isn't going to do anything for Joe. Because Joe is just as quick as he is. Snake Eye on the rope. What is Joe doing? Oh my God! I don't know what the hell Joe's gonna do. Does Joe want to end him? I don't. I don't. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what Joe's doing. Oh my God! On that top rope, slamming and carry toys out down. This could be it. I'm sorry. That's it. One, two. Oh my God! A carry toys out. A carry toys out with just kicked out of that. Joe, he is a God. Joe is just in a trance right now. He cannot believe this guy has any fight in him. Now, Kirito Zawa has to survive for a little over five minutes in this match, and he'll be have a win or finally have a win over Samoa Joe, ending this rivalry on a high note. 
for the strawberry child. Can he make Joe tap? Can he? No. Oh, man. Joe is not having that. But he's feeling the damage of that arm. Oh, elbow to back in the Enziguri. And an Enziguri. I don't know what this mojo was doing, kids. I was like, able to reverse it. Oh, man, it's the mojo. He has him. Does he have it locked? And he does the Coquina Clutch. The Coquina Clutch. Kirito had no choice but the tap. Right now it's 1-1 one, one for Akira Toizawa and Samoa Joe. Four minutes left in this matchup. Who's going to get the pin? I mean, Samoa Joe, I mean, for him, he has to get this pin in four minutes. Akira Toizawa, it's going to be a miracle for Akira. Cover. And kick out. Joe cannot afford to be pinned right now. With less than three, a little over three minutes now in this match. And man, Samoa Joe is out. Damn, what a take down by Akira. What is Kirazawa playing on doing now? Akira Toizawa with a beautiful springboard swanton. Oh, again with this submission. Oh, man. This Mojo can be tapping right now. And he doesn't. So Mojo was able to quickly get out of that. Characters out now. It's fighting. Oh, he's gonna go for a DDT, but Joe is able to get out of it. Oh, fisherman slam by Joe. Oh my God. The characters out could be out right now. This could be it. One, two, Akira out kicks out. Joe is just infuriated right now. Joe's thinking so, what the hell can he do? We have a little over a minute left. Enziguri by Akira. Come on, Akira. And again, knocking him out again. He's already be thinking of something. Oh, God, what is he doing? Akira. What a slam. German. A German. Oh, hitting the knee. I mean, well, the, the leg right into the arm German out of nowhere by Akira. This could be it right here. Joe is out. One, two. Joe kicks out the count of one. Less than a minute left. The character's out. Must be thinking of something right now. Oh, uh, character's out. I think that's a bad idea to go up right now. I mean, I know it's tied. You can never leave your eyes off of Joe. This is what this is what we're talking about. You can never get your eyes off of Joe. Never do that at all. Joe looking for the same time. He missed. Now here comes Akira. Oh! Nice up, 20 seconds left. Who's gonna get the pin? Oh! Beautiful set time by Akira. This could be it! Cover! 
One. And Joe kicks out. Ten seconds. Does Akira have him? No. He does it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Joe going for... Oh my God, it's a draw. Joe is furious right now. He had the pin. Joe had the pin. Joe had the pin. Akira Tozawa was able to survive for 10 minutes. It is a draw, guys. One and one. Unbelievable. Wow. I mean, J Joe literally legit. If it was just two more seconds, Joe would have had the match. One. Where, where do we go from here, guys? I really have no idea. It looks like this robbery is going to end in a draw, guys. I have no idea what to say. Both men gave it their all in 10 minutes and it ended in a draw. But at least Akira Tukitawa can say this. He didn't lose the match, but neither did he win. Didn't go for Samoa Joe and ended in a draw. I am a loss for words right now. Hopefully on SmackDown Live, we can resolve this issue and we can go about it from there because I feel like these two want to know who is the better man between these two. But coming up next, guys, there can be no draw in this one. Can there only be one winner? For the namesake of this pay-per-view, it is time for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Six of the top stars here on SmackDown Live has an opportunity to realize their dream, or at least one step closer to it, by attaining the Money in the Bank briefcase. And within that briefcase has a contract for a WWE Championship match anytime, anywhere, within the next year. The Viper Ran Yorton, the leader of the Bauer Club, Finn Bauer, Rusev, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, and the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, will do battle in this hellacious ladder match to see who will be walking out as Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank, on the surface, it just seems so simple. Climb the ladder, grab the briefcase, only 20 feet to change your life forever. 20 feet doesn't seem that far. Except in the Money in the Bank ladder match, those 20 feet should just be a mile. The prize inside of that briefcase is valuable that men will go to war, battle to their last breath, and sacrifice everything in hopes of walking away with it. A contract for a WWE Championship match that can be cashed in anytime, anywhere. It is more than just a contract, it is a virtual certainty. Which is why at Money in the Bank, these six men will do whatever it takes to walk out with the briefcase. Somebody's life is going to change forever. It is now time for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Oh my God, I cannot wait for this. Six of SmackDown's top superstars competing at a chance 
in the Money to Bank contract, where the winner will receive a title opportunity of any time of his choice, anytime, anywhere. Here comes the Viper Randy Orton, who is no stranger to the Money in the Bank ladder match. He did win this match before, and he became a WWE Champion after that. This is what it means to become the Money in the Bank winner. We will do it. Could it be this man? Randy Orton. He's done it before. He came to the promised land before by winning Money in the Bank. And he'd do it again, possibly for a second time in his career. There's only one superstar who's won the Money in the Bank twice. And that is CM Punk. Could it be also this man for the first time entering the Money in the Bank ladder match? Rusev. Could it be Rusev? This is his first time entering Money Bank ladder match. Usually first time superstars does have an advantage. Look at Baron Corbin. He's won Money in the Bank before. Like it's so it's not impossible. In his very first try, you could very well become Money in the Bank. Bulgarian brute. There's nothing more to become a champion. He could very well become that champion. Or could it be this man? The leader of the Balor Club. Entering the Money in the Bank match for the very first time in his career. Finn Balor. And Finn Balor, even though he's never competed in a Money in the Bank match before, he is no stranger to ladder matches. Back when he was on NXT, he competed against one of the competitors in this matchup, Kevin Owens. Back at TakeOver Brooklyn, the very first TakeOver Brooklyn, where he successively retained his NXT title. Bauer looks to do the same in this Money in the Bank ladder match, but this time, win the Money in the Bank contract. Will Balor be the one to win the Money in the Bank contract and punch his ticket to any time he wants to at the WWE title? And Balor had a lot of shortcomings since coming to the SmackDown Live roster. This can possibly change that. By him winning. In the Money in the Bank ladder match. And you see the Bauer Club is here in full force and they are behind this man, the leader of them, Finn Bauer. Could Finn Bauer be the one to win in the Money in the Bank contract? All we know is that he is ready. Quite possibly with his very first Money in the Bank ladder match. Or could it be this man? The former, yes, I said it right. The former Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens who looks to redeem himself here tonight. He might have lost the Intercontinental title this past week on SmackDown Live due to a supposed back injury. 
But regardless of the outcome of this matchup, Kevin Owens will have the opportunity to reclaim that title this week on SmackDown as he faces The Miz in a rematch for the Intercontinental title. So regardless of the outcome of this match, The Miz must defend his Intercontinental title this week on SmackDown Live. But Kevin Owens, I mean, he's no stranger in my bank ladder matches either. He's been in two of them. Could this third time be the charm for him and win the Money in the Bank ladder match? Or could it be the man who won the Intercontinental Championship from Kevin Owens? The Miz. And there is his Intercontinental Championship that he has around his waist. Like I just said, regardless of the outcome of this matchup, The Miz must defend his Intercontinental title in a rematch with Kevin Owens on SmackDown this Tuesday. So you know The Miz is going to try his hardest to win this match very, very quickly. He's been a Money Bank match before. Hell, he has won the Money in the Bank ladder match. And he became a WWE champion. Again, the Money in the Bank can do you so wonders in this matchup. We could be seeing a future WWE champion. It is almost, almost guaranteed that you can walk out as a new WWE champion if you win this Money in the Bank ladder match. Staying outside ringside. Or could it be this man? Returning to the Money in the Bank ladder match. For the first time in over two years. Chris Jericho. Jericho has an opportunity. He's made the match. He's the one who invented the Money in the Bank ladder match. Yet he has never won the money in the bank could this be the night or after all these years the match was created back in 2005 could it be almost 13 years later could this come full circle for chris jericho and win the money in the bank he could possibly do it i mean he invented it Jericho is here on SmackDown Live to do one thing that is become a WWE Champion. Could tonight be his night in doing just that? And winning. This could be one way to do it. The Money in the Bank contract. Here we go, guys. Six superstars. Money in the Bank. Here we go. I wasting any time. All of these men. And Owens looking straight at that. Look at Owens looking at that ladder. And Owens going straight after his former best friend, Jericho. Let's not forget their bitter rivalry from Monday Night Raw over the United States title. In the ring, you see the Miz and Rusev. Rusev taking down the Miz. And Finn Bauer and Randy Orton are going out again. This is going to be chaos in this match. I can definitely say that. Finn. Oh. Jesus. Taking him right out. There is chaos happening everywhere in this match. Finn Balor to drop kick. And Balor is feeling good. This could be Balor's night. And man, Chris Jericho slammed using the ladder to his advantage so far. First one to implement that ladder in this match. Again, the whole purpose of this match. Whoever can climb that ladder and achieve that contract wins. It's easier said than done. So far, nobody has tried to go after that ladder. But Jericho just used it to his advantage. Oh! Him taking out, and Owens is getting taken out as well. What is Bow looking for against Owens? It is chaos everywhere. 
all these men know as with State. In this matchup, we have two previous winners in Randy Orton Miz. So four new possible winners is capable in this match. And Owens and Balor going at it. Again, a rivalry new from the NXT days. Owens. But even besides that, ever since Finn Balor joined SmackDown, Owens had had a problem with him. Jesus Christ, that wrestles you right to the back of Balor. Again, so far, no one has yet to actually use that ladder. Play. Bowers go for the DDT. He's able to miss. And a cold breaker by Finn. I don't know what is Finn doing. And all these Minos are at stake right now. Balor, ooh, drop kick the frap out of Owens. And another goal breaker. Possibly for good measure. And Owens, he's trying to get away from Balor right now. I mean, your body's laying everywhere. Whoa, whoa, Balor, what are you doing? Balor. Balor. What is he doing? Oh, look like what well, Rusev is. They're going to stop that play. Rusev, oh, whoa. Look at he's going. He's about to slam Finn Balor right on the Owens. Finn Balor to DDT. I don't know what Miz is doing. Look like he's going for something, like but Balor saw him. Oh, my God. Almost head first onto those steel steps. And all of these men are doing just something else. I mean, you hear the crowd, they're chanting for Finn. This matchup is, I, I see the best for KIs, but Jesus. And Rusev just knocking out Balor. Man, oh man. Looks like Randy Orton. He's going for the ladder. He's so far. Oh, Rusev makes sure he's not going for that ladder. <laughs> Looks like Rusev wants the ladder. Oh, man. Taking out Orton. Could Rusev be the one to go for? Oh, God Owens. He's getting a second ladder into this. Stuff is going to get dangerous here. And Rusev. Again. Like he's going for it. But nope. Make sure that's not happening. And neither is Randy Orton. Taking out Rusev. Again, now there are ladders in this. Oh my god. Rusev on the back of his side, taken out by that ladder. You see, the ladder is just lined up right there. It could be anyone's opportunity. And Balor taking out Chris Jericho. And the Miz is also out. What chaos is in this match? Randy Orton on the top rope. You usually don't ever see Orton on the top rope. Jesus Christ. He even put the ladder down. Randy Orton. Ladder down. I think Orton, Orton noticed it. Here comes Balor. Balor's going in the ring. Or I guess not. But what is Balor doing? Balor sees Jericho. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, Orton has the briefcase. Oh man. Oh, again. And Balor quickly. Oh, Balor, this could be Balor's chance. This could be Balor's opportunity, can he get it? Oh no. Oh, and again. And again, Balor is feeling a little groggy right now. Oh, and Balor is also knocked out. Jericho, he sees the opportunity as well with this ladder in play. 
Good look at Jericho. Jericho's going on. He's gonna, he's gonna sneak one over. Oh no. Brady Orton's making sure. That's not gonna happen. Man, what a matchup. Oh, wait a minute. Jericho's knocked out. No, Ori. Jericho and Ge Jesus. And now this time, Brady Orton is making sure. Oh, Balor. He sees the opportunity. Nobody's up there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Balor. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Finn Bauer's getting taken. Finn Bauer could be out cold. Man, oh man, this la I mean, you knew this ladder match was gonna be brutal. We didn't think it was gonna be that brutal. This could be Owens' opportunity. Nobody's up. Owens sees this opportunity. Can Owens do it? Owens can't get the money in the bank. Rusev sees him. Oh no, Rusev saw him. Oh God, Owens. This would be bad news for all of them. Oh wait, R Rusev, oh my God, Rusev. <laughs> Did Rusev die? I don't know. Man, this play to make ladder match. I am having a heart attack here. I don't want anybody to die. Oh my God, Finn Bauer. <laughs> Take it out, Orton from the outside. Now Balor, he is in the ring. He's gonna grab the ladder. Oh, try to take out Rusev. He's trying to take out Owens. Oh, everybody's distracted. This is gonna be Balor's opportunity. Nobody's here to take it from him. Balor. Jericho's looking, oh my God, Finn Bauer has won money in the bank. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Finn Bauer is now Mr. Money in the Bank. What a match. Again, he is Took out Orton right there. And Balor, Jericho just looking on. He couldn't make it in time. Balor has became Mr. Money in the Bank. Balor has done it. The leader of the Balor Club is now has the richest prize. One of the most richest prizes here. In our support, the Money in the Bank contract, this guarantees him a shot at the title at any time, at any place of his choosing. Bauer Club can celebrate now as its leader, Finn Bauer, is now the new Mr. Money in the Bank. I cannot believe this right now. Finn Bauer had kind of a rough start here on SmackDown Live, trying to find his footing here on the blue brand, but now he has reached the top now. He has a contract that guarantees him a shot at the WWE title anytime, anywhere. When will Finn Bauer cash in? That's the question we're going to be asking us now. Who is going to be ready for Finn Bauer when he cashes in? He can cash in tonight in the main event between Shisuke Nakamura and Jinder Mahal. Who knows? Like, when is he going to cash it in? I have no idea, but just congratulations to Finn Bauer on an epic Money in the Bank ladder match. And congrats to Finn Bauer, who is now Mr. Money in the Bank. But coming up next, guys, we have a heated rivalry that will reach its boiling point here as the master of the facts, Kurt Hawkins, takes on the glorious Bobby Roode. Now, ever since the WWE Championship Tournament, Bobby Roode beat Kurt Hawkins, but Kurt Hawkins never forgot about that day after Backlash, Hawkins attacked Rude, and then taunting ever since he's pretty much gotten the upper hand on Rude, Rude has never been able to really put his hands on Hawkins, but now all the running from Hawkins ends here, as he has no choice but to face the glorious one if you want to make the name for himself here on the blue brand. This is how these two came about in this match. During the WWE Championship Tournament first round matches, Bayrou defeated Kerr Hawkins and embarrassed him. Rude thought he wouldn't have to worry about Hawkins after that, and he was just simply a stepping stone. But the SmackDown Live after Backlash 
showed us that Hawkins wasn't moving on from it at all. One. But now it's about to be absolutely. What? Wait, what? Who the hell is that? Who the? Wait, Hawkins? Oh my God! Hawkins, what the hell is he doing here? Hawkins. Oh, and the elbow drop by Hawkins. Now he's just damn. I, I mean, I guess he's getting some little payback for Rude Tag all the time. A month ago. Oh man, he's mocking Rude now. No, he's not. Glorious DDT to Bobby Rude, just mocking him. Hawkins wants to make a name for himself on a blue brand. He figures the best way to do it is by beating one of the very best here, Bobby Rude. Rude would not let the Master of Facts make a name for himself off at of his expense. So the match was officially set for Money in the Bank, where these two will go one on one. Bobby Rude wants nothing more to get his hands on Kurt Hawkins, who has been dodging him for weeks now. Hawkins somehow has been able to get the upper hand on Rude and escaping without a scratch. And that is a fact. But what will also be a fact is that Hawkins will have nowhere to run come Money in the Bank, and that will simply be glorious. I mean, I can't even. I'm exhausted after that Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's move on to our next match, guys. And for Hawkins, this is like your date with destiny. This is your way to become famous, man. Hawkins has been stalking Rude for a while now, taunting this man. This is your, this is your time, man, to become famous. Will you do it? We be able to upset Bobby Roode, the glorious Bobby Roode? Hawkins thinks so, but that's because he's full of himself. I mean, ever since coming back to SmackDown Live, thanks to our universe mode driver, you have not been doing pretty well. I guess you tired to focus on Bobby Roode to make a name for yourself. And Hawkins looks to do just that here tonight. Will he do it? Who knows? But this is what I do know. This money in the bank pay-per-view is about to be absolutely glorious. And there he is. The glorious. Bobby Roode. Glorious. Glorious. Bobby Roode. Gets his opportunity to get his hands on Kurt Hawkins. And he has been waiting for this one. And you hear from the crowd, they love him and they want Hawkins to suffer. Again, Hawkins has been taunting Rue for a while now. And now, Hawkins, it's time for you to put up or shut up. This is your opportunity, man. The glorious Bobby Roode is ready to deal with Hawkins finally. Hawkins, this is your chance at fame and it's time for you to pay 
for everything she's been doing for Bobby Roode. Hawkins, Roode. There we go. And Hawkins, look, he's trying to come in strong. Blindsiding him right there. Look, quickly going for the pin. He doesn't want it. He wants to end this quickly, but Roode kicked out of the count of one. Again, this is your shot to be famous, and Roode is, oh God, what a punch straight to the face. Again, oh, Irish whipping him. Again, guys, we have now know who is our Money in the Bank contract winner, and his name is Finn Bowler. He can cash in any time he wants. Oh, God. Count of five. Oh. I think Hawkins with a count out win against Rue. That'll be the easiest thing you can do right now. I guess not. Oh. Damn. Neck breaker by Hawkins. Yeah, Hawkins is able to, again, just. All Hawkins can do is just find some type of weak points against the glorious one and he can take advantage of that but Byru's not gonna let him do that and a suplex by Bobby Roode damn hitting him right on the face Hawkins is trying to get out of it, and he does. Oh, what a right hand by Hawkins. Oh, Hawkins able to reverse. Oh, what a takedown by Hawkins. See, like Hawkins finally got his number. And a back suplex. Hawkins going on the second row drop kick. And Hawkins again, again, just showboy now. And it's like, wow, he thinks he has this match won. There's going to be a lot more to do against the glorious one. Seems like, but seems, I'm, I'm surprised Hulk is able to last this long. I mean, you often consider Hulk as a joke, but he is showing. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with possibly the best. I mean, Byru, former NXT champion. Look at this. Damn, snake eye. Hawkins just trying to wail. Again, again, look at him go. That's all Hawkins can do at the moment. No, oh, it's Byru's fighting back now. Rue slamming Hawkins face first to the back. Covered by Rue. And a kick out by Hawkins. Byru has wanted to do this to Hawkins for a while now. Damn.
would have thought Hulk would be giving Rude this much of a hard time. I didn't think that. And that's exactly what he's doing to Bobby. Now Hawkins going on the top rope. What does he have in store for Bobby? Whoa, what an elbow drop by Hawkins. I mean, Hawkins is being impressive in this match. I mean, a big win over Rue. Wow, what match would that could do for his career? He just got famous over the glorious one. He could do just that. Whoa. Oh. This could be it right here. Upset victory. One. Two. Oh my God. For a second there. I thought Hawk was going to have the upset victory with Lightyear. Hawkins thought that too. Try to reel him in. That's all Hawkins could possibly do right now. But that was his fatal mistake. Letting Byru have any breathing room. Byru's going for the cover now. But it's just a kick out. And now Bobby Roo going for that spine buster. Him just going for that spine buster. Oh, and I think we all know what it's time for. Glorious. The glorious DDT. Cover. One, two, three. Bobby Roode is Victoria. <coughs> and I think that shuts up Hawkins once and for all. And a spine bust. Look at that spine buster. By Rudy Victorious. And now it's absolutely glorious. Victorious, glorious. Get it? Oh, I, I really hope you guys do. <laughs> Glorious. What a glorious win for the glorious one. And what a glorious victory that was for Bobby Roode. But that's nothing to take away from Kerr Hawkins. He gave him one hell of a fight and he gave it his all. At one point I did think Kerr Hawkins was actually about to beat Bobby Roode. But in the end, the Glorious One was able to pull through with a glorious DDT for the victory. What's next for the Glorious One? Maybe now since he's moved on from Kerr Hawkins, possibly a shot at the WWE title. Who would know? But coming up next, guys, is a rematch from two weeks ago on SmackDown Live. As the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, the Usos, will be taking on the former champions, Benjamin and Gable. Now, two weeks ago on SmackDown Live, the Usos, they would beat Benjamin and Gable in the main event to become the new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. And Benjamin and Gable immediately after that said, nah, uh you want our rematches at Money in the Bank, which is why this match takes place right here tonight. The real question is, can the Usos defeat Benjamin and Gable again to retain their newly won SmackDown Tag Team title? Or Benjamin and Gable are going to prove that it was just a fluke that they won on SmackDown Live and they're taking their titles back to become a two-time SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion. We're going to find out as SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match begins right now and here we go guys our next match here at my in bank it is for the smackdown tag team championships benjamin and gable looks to reclaim the titles that they won at backlash when they became the brand new smackdown tag team titles once the titles were vacated. They won those titles. The Usos, however, two weeks ago, was able to upstage them. And they became 
the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Dude, they are getting their official rematch calls here tonight. And they want those titles back. And this might be a lot more easier said than done. Because you're looking at a four time SmackDown. Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. They are no stranger to these titles. They have won them on three different occasions now. And they look to retain these titles. Will their fate be the same as it was a couple weeks ago at SmackDown Live as Jimmy and Jay retain the SmackDown Tag Team titles? Already had one title get retained here tonight, and now it's Asuka. But right now, it's all about the SmackDown Tag Team titles. So there you go, guys, the challengers, Benjamin and Gable. We're the champions. They want to be called that again. And here comes the champions. Three-time champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. They are the Smack... <gasps> That's all I got a hiccup right there. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So they're all about those two titles right there. The SmackDown Tag Team titles. Rematch from a couple weeks ago on SmackDown. The Usos won the title. So this is Jimmy Uso in the ring. I know I'm probably getting confused, but I'm assuming this is Jimmy. Benjamin Gamer want nothing more to reclaim these SmackDown Tag Team titles. The Usos are probably not going to make sure they let that happen. I mean, they won the titles, so they don't want to have no, they have no time to lose. They have no intention on losing this. Well, that was the word I was trying to find. Was they have no intention on losing these titles. That they just got. But anything can happen in a tag team match. And that's for sure. And what a takedown. Now here come Chad. Gable is in the ring. He's a former SmackDown tag team champion. Not just alongside Sean Benjamin, but also his former American Alpha partner, Jason. Jordan. So man, oh man, it's going to be difficult for these guys to retain the titles. Because I mean, you have the all athletic background of Chad Gable. Pro wrestler back in college. You know how to grab you to the mat within seconds. Yeah, just like that. I mean, let's not forget, it was Benjamin Gable. These were the two superstars to take out the Usos in the tournament. To crown our brand new SmackDown Tag Series. So it's kind of ironic how now that the Usos are who have the titles. Now Benjamin Gable 
are going to have to get it back. Because they did with the titles, but Usos took it right from them a couple weeks ago. Oh, man. Oh, look at, oh, Uso. Jimmy Uso, even though he's been in the ring this whole time, he has remained dominant in this matchup. And it looks like he's planning on staying that way. What is Jimmy Uso doing right now? Oh, God, what is this? A Samoan job from the turnbuckle. My goodness, but Chad Gable quickly going at get Shell Bidger for the pin. Or for the tag, I should say. Oh, and here comes Shelton. Shelton. Benjamin. Taking out the knees. Benjamin. Here comes Jey Uso. Jey Uso fully fresh in the ring now. Oh, no, wait. And what a takedown. By Jey Uso. Can they nose what at stake here for him to retain their time for Billy Gale for him to recapture those SmackDown tag team titles that they lost? That is what it's all about. Oh, good man, submission move right there. Jey Uso was able to quickly get out. And a takedown by Benjamin. And Benjamin is a veteran on right here. I mean, multiple time tag team champion. And Benjamin. Oh, man. What a move. Oh, look at him distracting the referee. Tell him, get up. Come on, get up. And that was enough time for Jay Uso to kick out. Smart move by the Usos. So BJ had that bring in dragging him to Chad Gable's corner to make sure Jimmy Uso would not be anywhere close. And now Jay Uso. Look, he's gonna try and capitalize here on this opportunity. That Chad Gable's back on the ground. Damn, what a takedown. What a slam. Or a moose, I should say, by Chad Gable. Oh, man. Gable. Oh. Gable with that beautiful German. And Jimmy Uso's making sure he's taking that one out. Smart move by Jimmy Uso. Make sure you break up the cover. That could have been it right there. Oh, Jimmy Uso trying to help him out by taking out Gable from the rope, but Gable was just too quick. I mean, Jay Uso could be hurt right now. And now Jimmy Uso back in this matchup. Oh, double elbow. It's all about the SmackDown Tag Team titles. These two teams are going to give it everything that they have. And Gable is now calling up Jimmy Uso. What does he have in store for him? Oh, double accent or straight to the back. 
That could be lights out for Jimmy Uso. And now Benjamin. Back in the ring now. Take care of Jimmy Uso, supposedly. Oh, look like he's going for a German. Oh my god, super kick! A super kick! What a super kick! Jimmy Uso, try it all. He can't get on the top rope. The Uso splash. This could be it. One, two. Oh, I look for a second. The Usos were going to retain. So Benjamin barely kicked out. And I mean, barely. Unbelievable. What a performance by both of these teams. I mean, none of them are going to give up. You're going to have to wonder. Or she was just going to give it just a tad percent more to become the champions or retain the titles after the Uso King. I mean, right now, it's anybody's match. I mean, anything can go. Right now, the advantage is clearly in the Uso's favor. Avenger is coming back right now. But Jay Uso was able to reverse. At the right moment, too. He was able to reverse. And now Chad Gable got the tag in. Here comes Chad Gable. Chad Gable with the pin. Oh, no, no. Look like he's not. Oh, whoa, whoa. Smart move by Chad Gable. Wait a minute. This could be it. Jim Uso could tap. Is he going to tap? No. What a smart move by Jimmy Uso. Oh, but he might tap to this one. Chad Gable has him in it again. And unbelievable Jimmy Uso tap. Gable and Benjamin reclaim their SmackDown Tag Team titles. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They have reclaimed. They did. They, they said what they said they were going to do. Reclaim those titles. And they did just that. What a match. Jimmy Uso got pinned. That Uso flash. He thought it was it right there. Gable and Benjamin has reclaimed their SmackDown Tag Team titles. What a win for Benjamin and Gable. They reclaim their titles. Before we continue on with the show, I'd like to give a special thanks to Inside Riot for their song, Kinda Like Falling, which is the official theme song for the SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. It's off the album Glass Mansions, which you get right now on iTunes or Spotify. And also, guys, remind everyone that tonight, or after tonight, I should say, the day after the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, it is going to be the biggest thing here on my YouTube channel. The whole landscape of my universe mode is changing. That Superstar Shake-Up will be taking place. Due to the influx of talent between the Raw and SmackDown Live rosters, it has been decided that the Cruiserweights and Raw will be having their exclusive home on 205 Live, and they will have no part of the Raw roster anymore. But because the Cruiserweights is such an essential part of the Raw roster, a Superstar Shake-Up is required to balance out the rosters between Raw, SmackDown, and 205 Live. So the question is, which superstars will be switching brands either to red, blue, or purple brands, and which new faces from NXT will making their presence felt 
on Raw, SmackDown Live, or 205 Live. This can't miss event, guys. It will be first on Monday, then the following week on Tuesday, then the following week on Thursday. This three-week special event is something you do not want to miss, guys. So Superstar Shakeup, that will be happening tomorrow. But now it's time for our main event, guys. This has been waiting forever. This has been brewing for months now. It is now time for the WWE Championship match as Jinder Mahal, the WWE Champion, will be battling the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, in a rematch from their match at Backlash. The only difference is the Singh Brothers will be banned from ringside. Now Nakamura has the opportunity to realize his dream without any outside interference between the Singh Brothers to get his hands on WWE title for Jinder Mahal. This is all about proving that he doesn't need the Singh Brothers to be a great WWE Champion. These two rivals first started off at the back last pay per view. The final match in the WWE Championship Tournament saw the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, take on the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. The winner of that match would have been awarded and became the brand new WWE Champion. Nakamura, but it looks like distraction wasn't enough. Oh, look at King Sasa, but the referee's distracted. The referee's distracted. Are you kidding me right now? Nakamura has to pin. Pulling him up. Is he gonna hit it? Looks like he's about to hit it. The Coloss. Did them all hit the Coloss? Is it over? New champion. One. Two, three, Jinder Mahal is the WWE Champion. With the help of the Singh brothers, Jinder Mahal was able to beat Nakamura that night to become the new WWE Champion. Shinsuke was not just going to simply let that go and was awarded another opportunity at Money in the Bank. This time, the Singh brothers are banned, so we will have a decisive winner. Can the King of Strong Style live his dream and become the WWE Champion? Or will Jinder Mahal prove that him winning the WWE title wasn't because of the Singh Brothers, but because he is the modern day Maha Raja? It is now time for our main event. And this is for the WWE Championship. Man, oh man. Here comes the man who has the opportunity to finally realize his dream. And this time he's going to have all the fairness in the world to do it because the Singh brothers are banned from ringside. We're going to have a decisive winner in this rivalry. Here comes the king of strong style, the artist, the rock star, Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, you hear the crowd, they're behind him. And so am I, Nakamura. This is your opportunity. This is Nakamura's chance to finally realize his dream. Of becoming the WWE Champion. He became World Champion before back at NXT. He became a two time NXT Champion. But has never won something as big as this. The most prestigious and coveted prize in this industry. The WWE title at the back last pay per view. Last month, Nakamura was so close to winning that title. But with the assistance of the Singh brothers, Jinder Mahal, 
was able to become the new WWE Champion. This time, with the Singh Brothers now banned from ringside, I think it's safe to say that Nakamura has a more of a better chance of winning the WWE title against the modern day Maharaja. How do you hear him? The crowd. They're all behind Nakamura, the artist, the rock star, but best known as possibly as the king of strong style. Nakamura is ready to realize his dream. And that has become the WWE Champion. All moments led to this stage here at Money in the Bank. This is Nakamura's time. But can he capitalize on it? Can he do it? Can he take out the so far unstoppable modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal? <coughs> I mean, again, the advantage is certainly. Back in Nakamura's face, the Singh brothers are banned from ringside. So we'll have to wait and see. And speaking of which, here comes the champion. The modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Who has won this WWE title at Backlash by beating Nakamura in the finals of the WWE Championship Tournament. Thanks to the help of the Singh Brothers. But you see something different now. And you saw Jinder Mahal look right behind him. No Singh Brothers. That's because they are banned from ringside. They make sure this match is called straight down the middle. With no assistance from the Singh Brothers. Jinder Mahal, you are literally going to have to do this all on your own. Prove why you are the WWE Champion. That's all you have to do. Just prove it here tonight. You have the opportunity to. Oh, this is your opportunity. Prove yourself why you are the WWE Champion. This is what it's all about, guys. The WWE Championship. In this corner, he is the artist, the rock star, the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. At your service. And there he is, guys, the current WWE Champion, the modern day Maharaja Jinder Maha. And there is that title right there. That's what it's all about. The WWE Championship. And Mahal, I mean, you have held it for this long right now. You want it back at back. Let's see if you can keep it this time on your own. The WWE title, that's what it's all about. Shinsuke Nakamura. Jinder Mahal, 101, in our main event of the evening here at the Mighty Bank pay-per-view. To close out this epic show that we had, we had Asuka retain her SmackDown Women's Championship in that amazing triple threat match against Sasha and Charlotte. Naomi pulling up the victory against Natalia. We had a Samoa Joe and a Kei Toizawa in a draw. Nobody was expecting that. 
but those two men got into a draw, one and one each. We had the Money in the Bank ladder match, which was won by Finn Bauer. And Wild Jinder Mahal did not like that one, one bit. Oh man, Nakamura again, he's pointing out all the stops right here. Oh my God. The hardest part of the ring and Jinder Mahal just got hit by it. Again, Nakamura knows his opportunities at stake, but you gotta make sure he doesn't get himself or Jinder Mahal count out because this is the champion's advantage. If Jinder Mahal gets counted out, Nakamura wins, but Jinder Mahal retains the WWE title. All right, now we're at the count of five. Both of these men want to get back in the ring. If anything. Nakamura getting back in the ring. Smart that you could possibly do. Again, you're about to be at count of eight. Man, Nakamura, you're about to <coughs> lose your opportunity. I'm okay, he's trying to come back. Again, Nakamura, whoa, these two are just reversing move after move. They know each other so well from their backlash match. Now they're fighting again. I said no Sting Brothers. So Jinder Mahal is able to win this. I mean, it was all by himself. Oh, knee straight to the face of Nakamura. Jinder Mahal going on the top rope right now. Elbow drop to Nakamura. So far, Jinder Mahal has the advantage of this matchup. And now Nakamura is going to fight back. And a back suplex. To Jinder. Oh, damn. Taking him right down on the mat. Said Finn Bauer is the money in the bank. Contract winner. Oh, sit down, Power Bob. We have Bayrou finally take care of Kerr Hawkins. And then Benjamin Gable has resuccessfully gotten back their SmackDown tag team titles. Holding up to this main event here of the evening Nakamura and Jenner for WWE title. And right now, Nakamura seems like he has the advantage of this match. Oh, and Jinder Mahal reverse again. Uh, they know each other so well. Jinder Mahal is able to reverse every single move that Nakamura has been giving to him lately. Oh, Nakamura. Wow, knee straight to the face. Jinder Mahal, he wants to end it right here. Could he possibly end it right here? Who knows? Oh, it looked like he could. Wait a minute. He has him in the Coloss. Is he going to hit it? And he does. He hits the Coloss right on Nakamura. This could be it right here. One. Two. And Sisuke Nakamura kicks out. Oh no, for a second there, I thought it was over for Nakamura. That could have been it right there for the King of Strong Style. Oh, Nakamura's not going to give up. Wait a minute. Nakamura with the Exploder. Shisuke Nakamura has the opportunity now. Oh, wait a minute, is Nakamura gonna hit it? The King Sasa, he hit it. Nakamura hit it, cover. One, two, and Jinder Mahal kicks out of the King Sasa. Unbelievable. Both men kicked out each other's finisher. Neither man, they knows what that stake here. Now Jinder Mahal, going for the cover. This could be it. One, and a kick out by Nakamura. The crowd is on their feet on this matchup, and so am I. I mean, this is for the richest part of this industry, the WWE title. It could be any man's match right now. And 
And Nakamura is able to reverse. And a German by Nakamura. Nakamura really has to stay all oh, yeah, there using those lethal knees against the WWE Champion. This could be it right here. Referee for the pen. One and a kick out. Referee was a little too slow there for Nakamura. And Nakamura now just taking it to Jen Durr. Jen Mahal could be out right now. His back must be killing him. And Nakamura calling up Jinder. Can he hit him from that far? He's going to try. Drop kick and he does. He hits the drop kick. On Jinder from way far over there. And wait a minute. The Exploder. The Exploder. Again, the gender. Nakamura could be feeling it right now. Nakamura, I wouldn't be gloating right now if I was you. I'd be standing on Jinder Mahal right now. But Nakamura knows he has his match won. And Nakamura knows he can end it. Oh, man. Gender, but oh, Nakamura's able to reverse it. Oh, in the back of the head. Nakamura's able to take him down. Oh, man, anybody can win this matchup. This is for the richest private industry, the WWE Championship. Nakamura, cover, one, two. And a kick out by Jinder Mahal. Oh, man, Mahal has him down for the takedown. Oh, man, now Jinder Mahal is calling up Shinsuke. It's be bad news for Shinsuke. Oh, no. Oh, no. The second. Colossus. This could be it. This could be it right here. Covered by Jinder. One, two, three. Jinder Mahal retains. The WWE Championship. Nakamura got a little bit cocky at the end of this match. I mean, wow. Yeah, Nakamura got a tad bit cocky. It was it was obvious. Jinder Mahal successfully retained. The WWE Championship, thanks to the cockiness. Let's just get awkward. I guess it got the better of him. And Jinder Mahal was able to, to retaliate on that. Jinder Mahal is still the WWE Champion. Thank you guys for watching the Money in the Bank pay per view. Like today's video, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Miss anything else on my channel. This is Crater signing off. Catch you guys later. See ya.